Hi everyone, my name is Elliot. I'm just doing a quick review of the Clark Desert Boots. Um, this is my second pair of Clark Desert Boots. This is the mustard color. Um, it's a little bit darker now. I put some mink oil on my boots. Um, so they, they got a little bit darker, a little bit more waterproof. When they get scuffed, they return a little bit to the, to the light color you can see on the toe here. When it gets scuffed, it kind of uh, gets a little bit lighter, kind of like a baseball glove would. Um, these are my, my favorite pair of Clarks that I've owned. Well, I've only owned two, but um, the things I really want to say about the Clarks are the sizing is a little bit complicated. I'll go through that. I also want to talk about the sole of the Clarks. I want to talk about the laces, and I want to talk about um, the leather quality and what you can do. So first, I'll talk about sizing. Sizing with Clarks is, is a little bit of an interesting an interesting thing. The first pair I got, I think I got them a little bit snug. Um, over time, I would I would wear th thin socks with them. Over time, they stretched out. They fit to my feet really well. Um, the second time I got a pair, I got these pair. I got them a little bit bigger by accident. I didn't do it on purpose because I liked the way that my first ones eventually fit. Uh, I got these ones a little bit bigger, probably a half size bigger, and they're just a little bit too big. Um, I feel on my right foot, the back of the heel slips a little bit. Um, I kind of wish I would have gotten smaller and dealt with uh, with the snug feet for a little while until they stretched out and fit my foot. But I think in time these will do the same. They're already a lot more comfortable than when I first got them. Um, over you know even a matter of just a few weeks, they've kind of stretched and formed to my foot. So um, it's it's kind of interesting. I have a I personally have a pretty wide foot, so I had to go. I ordered. I think the first ones I had were a ten because Clark's run a little big, at least that's what people say, I had a 10. The 10 was good, it was definitely snug on my feet when I first had it, I had to wear thin socks, um, <clears throat> but eventually it molded, it stretched out to fit my foot. The second time I ordered a half size bigger, I ordered a 10 and a half, um, and it, it's a little a little too big, the width is perfect for my wide feet, but the my heel just slides up every once in a while, and it's, it's, it's a problem having wide feet. I usually wear about a 10 to a 10 and a half because of my wide feet. In Nikes, I could wear 11 to 11 and a half. You'll see a review if you go on my channel of a pair of shoes I did. I ordered them an 11 and it was it was too small. I had to, I should have gotten 11 and a half. But um, so it it just depends. Wide feet is a tough problem to deal with. With Clarks, I would recommend you know sticking true to size if you have a wide foot. Um, if you have a narrow fit, go half a size to a size down. Probably half a size just to be safe. Better to get a little bit snug than a little bit too loose because the leather will stretch. Um, and the next thing I wanted to talk about is the sole. A lot of people really like the sole. It's crepe, at least uh, so they say. I've heard some people complain that it's synthetic, which I don't really know how it could be synthetic because it's already a synthetic material. It's latex. Um, it doesn't seep out of you know a tree perfectly looking like this. It's processed. Um, it's it's kind of a um, can't remember how it was described. Not corrugated, but uh, like glutenated um, latex, basically, like curds of curds of latex laid out. Um, it's really squishy. A lot of people really like it because of how soft it is. I personally really don't like it. I don't wear these shoes for their comfort. You just feel like you're walking in bare feet on the ground. It doesn't really feel great. It looks cool, um, and it, it can be cool for some people. Personally, the, the sole comfort is not something that I buy the Clarks for. It's just not supportive. It's totally flat-footed, and you just feel like you're walking right on the ground with your bare feet. So if you want to toughen up your feet, you know, go ahead. Leather quality is excellent. This is very good leather. Um, you know, it's not premium designer shoe leather. It's cowhide man leather. You know, it's, it's made to look rugged. You want to scuff it up a little bit. You don't want it to look nice all the time. If you want to get a pair of, of shoes and you want them to look perfectly pristine all the time, you know, that's fine. But I wouldn't recommend doing that with Clarks because they're, you know, they're, they're meant to be worn. They're meant to be rugged. Um, <clears throat> next thing I want to talk about is the laces. Um, if, if you'll find, generally you'll find with these shoes that you have to tie the laces pretty snug to get them to stay where you want them to stay. If you let the laces run wild on you, the shoe isn't going to do what you want it to do. As you can tell, the laces are only in this very small part of your shoe. That means just the structure of a shoe, the shoe itself, 
the, the way the leather is shaped is basically all that's supporting your foot. So you're trying to put a lot of strain on the laces to do as much as they possibly can to keep your foot in a comfortable position. Um, my first pair of the laces broke after a year, but I didn't have trust in the laces. They don't feel strong. You put a lot of strain on them. I've never broken shoelaces before, but I've broken these. And I heard it's a pretty common problem with these. But the nice thing about it is customer service is good. You call and they send you a free pair of laces. So it's not really a downside because it's an easy problem to fix. They just send them to you because it happens. But they're, they're not the greatest laces. Overall, one of my favorite pairs of shoes. I think the Chukka is kind of starting to go out of style though. Um, on my first pair, I actually have my first pair. I'll show them to you guys. On my first pair, I cut the back of them. My brother had a pair of John Barbados Chuckas. This was like when Chuckas were first becoming popular. He had a pair of John Barbados and they were cut back here. Um, I thought that was super cool, so I cut this a little bit. Um, I don't know if it helped the shoe at all. It, it, it gave it a little bit of a different silhouette. It was a little bit more wide, but um, but I didn't do that on these ones. I don't, I don't really know. I liked it for a little while. I liked it on these shoes, but as you can see, I beat these shoes up pretty good. I wore these through snow. I wore these through rain. I wore these up hills and downhills through college in uh, rural eastern Washington. Um, it was a good times with these shoes. They lasted me a long time. Sole was not comfortable. One thing that started happening after a while is the leather started peeling up from the sole where it was glued. Um, I could probably get it fixed, but I just decided to get a new pair. The suede is, you know, a little bit messed up, but that's what happened. I rode them hard and put them away wet more than a few times. But, uh, overall, a really good shoe, really durable shoe, really manly shoe. Put some uh, mink oil on them if you want to weatherproof them. Use saddle soap to clean them. The mustard color is excellent. I would recommend it. Um, right out of the box, the mustard looks exactly like uh, Timberland shoes, Timberland golden boots, exactly like that. I didn't, I didn't like that. I felt like people thought I was wearing Timberlands. So I put a little bit of mink oil, made it a little bit darker. And also after a while, it kind of started to lighten back. So it was a little bit of a healthy in between the really dark from the mink oil and the Timberland. Um, the creases will lighten up too as the oil squeezes out of there. When they scratch or scuff, they'll get lighter. The wear is what makes these shoes look beautiful. Um, I made this review because I wanted to see this review. I wanted someone to publish this review. Um, <clears throat> so I hope I help you out. Um, leave comments below. Please try not to say anything disrespectful or, you know, ridiculous. But uh, thank you. Appreciate you watching.